Hello, I'm Andrew Bideker here participating in this project. My father, my hero. My hero is actually not my biological father, which I know very well, we have a good bond, but the man that raised me, which is Rudy Bill Snyder, he's actually my hero. He's the one that I look upon to as my father because he has been playing a very vital role in the upbringing of me. He's been a, a father figure, not only for me, but also for my brothers, other family members, you know, even uh, children of the neighborhood, strangers, you know, and is somebody that is very uh, respected in the community. Uh, Rudy Bielsneider, he is the husband of my aunt, my mother's elder sister, and uh, He's a very uh, skillful carpenter in his days. He's now 88. This month he's making 89. He's alive and kicking, vibrant. And he still have his little uh, singing birds. He still have his little things doing. He still keep himself active as, at this age, climbing stairs, cracking a joke, you know, but, um, uh, I've been taught very valuable life lessons by Parudi, as I call him, and many call him uh, Omrudi, or uh, it is a professional uh, circle, they call him Bas Bailey. But he's a guy that, um, yeah, he taught me a lot. He taught me a lot that I still using these days and that are also uh, teaching my children you know he never actually restricted me to do anything he always say you're responsible for everything that you are doing you know uh, you know fully well what is right from wrong you know he actually besides life lessons he always learned me certain part of the carpentry trade, agriculture, and he always uh, irked the interest in me to, to uh, follow what is happening on the world platform of politics. So as a very young age, he, he actually, um, yeah, uh, not forcing, but encouraging that you need to watch the news. You need to know what is happening around you because normally you would only watch in the, uh, movies or cartoons. And we both is, uh, were watching and reasoning about uh, what is taking place politically and as well religiously. He is a very spiritual man. You know, he's not a guy that was used to go to church every Sunday, but when you start to reason with him, you know, it makes a lot of sense. Things that we use, uh, we like to do together is, um, yeah, watching boxing, boxing matches. He likes boxing. So up to this day, when we are on the phone, we can still, you know, talk about it. And, and, and uh, yeah, he always have... Uh, this love for for that that sport. Yeah, Uncle uh, Parudi um, is someone that I can't recall a day that I saw him drunk or uh, being abusive, or I haven't seen him ever smoke, you know. And he was not a guy that he hang out at bars or going out. He was a gentleman that when he leave the house, his work, back, back, back at home, and 
uh, we used to mind uh, chicken and and have a little garden. So he was a family man, and I think a lot that he instilled in me, I still execute in it now. So I'm really thankful for what you have uh, taught me, Parudi, and I really cherish it. And may God bless you with many more years. Thank you very much for everything.